Welcome to another edition of the Catholic Weekly News. I'm Orina Vaz and here is the news from the week that went by. Portugal President Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa's two-day visit to Goa concluded on Sunday. Before his departure, the President attended a Mass in Portuguese at Our Lady of Immaculate Conception Church, Panaji. He also visited the churches at Old Goa. Here is a clip. alimentastes com o pão do céu, concedei-nos a graça de buscarmos sempre aquelas realidades que nos dão a verdadeira vida. Por nosso Senhor Jesus Cristo, vosso Filho, que é Deus convosco na unidade do Espírito Santo. Amém. O Senhor seja convosco. Está no meio de nós. Abençoe-vos Deus Todo-Poderoso, Pai Filho e Espírito Santo. Amém. Ide em paz e o Senhor vos acompanhe. Graças a Deus. aqui em Goa e que é ininterruptamente celebrada ao longo das últimas décadas, como foi durante séculos, as outras são celebradas em inglês, esta é em português, há uma disciplina de português na formação dos próprios sacerdotes e, portanto, os mais novos usam sobretudo o inglês, mas mantém-se esta tradição da missa celebrada em português e dos cânticos em português. E temos aqui jovens a cantarem muito bem em português. Oh, sabe, foi uma surpresa, não estavam à espera. É, 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 sim, muitos não estavam à espera, outros sabiam que vinha. E é de facto um, um fator de identidade cultural importante esta uh, presença e esta ligação à Igreja Católica, que é, como sabem, tradicional e secular aqui em Goa. É um laço forte. É um laço muito forte e que faz uma diferença específica e que uh, faz desta comunidade também uma comunidade muito especial no quadro das comunidades portuguesas espalhadas pelo mundo. Porque aqui há realmente esse fator adicional de identidade, que é cultural por um lado, mas é uh, religioso por outro. Archbishop of Goa and the man, Philip Neri Ferrand, blessed the newly built parochial house at Our Lady of Help Parish Church in Ribandar. Present on the occasion were the parish priest, Father Antonio Fernandez. Ani putachi, ani povitrat menci na mi. Amen. Deva bapachi, ani amcha somia Jesu Krista chi kurpa, ani shanti tumche sovea su. Ani sovea su. Moshe, mo kar bapam boini no, ami bavardachi moshe. 
आनी बावड़ता ची मुनशा कोशिं हम चा जीवितान अमी किते नवे शुरु करता हूँ तेरना कुछोर कोशने नवे पावल अमी मार का हूँ तेरना देवा कुलो मारो देवा चे मुतोराई को तस आशीर्वाद मारो एम पावल अमी मारो फुले सोता याच मोना ना आइस या नवे गोरा चेर देवा स आशीर्वाद अमी मागो कायला अनि आशीर्वाद चा मागने अन अतांस या देवा चा उत्तरसो एक सुपुल्लो बाग अमी आई कोल इन देवा चे मुतोर अम का अम चे जीवित जेता ना अम चे जीवित ची यात्रा करता ना अम ची बागनो कोसली जाऊं जाए ते अम का पुरास करता तो या फिर गोस गोरा चेर देवा स आशीर्वाद या घरान बितोर बाहर सोते नहीं चाहिए, या घरान सोरबोंत यहाँ से ले लिया हम चाहे फिरगो समुदाय चाहिए, the parish community, हम चाहे जीवितान, यो दोन बाजु अभी गोट कर, देवा कम चाहे जीवितान पौइ विस्वातियो, अन देवा चाहे एक चरण जियों, हम जो सोकलो बाहु हम चो राती, उर्बेर मुकारोरो, हम का शिकोई मोड, हम चाहे स ये हम चाह कर सके मागने बापा को बारूद। सुरविस्पोर तुम चे सोमे आसू। अन्यांगा जी रसले लिया तुम्हां सोमे संचीर। सुर पौधविदार देव बा अनिपूत अनिपवित्र आत्मो अपलो आशीर्वाद गालू। The Goa Foundation and NGO is organizing a two-month legal course that aims at educating the participants about functioning and legal aspects of the law. The organizers hope it will create a next generation of social activists. Some of the speakers at the course are Carlos Alvarez Ferreira, Cleofato Coutinho and many others. The inauguration of the course was done recently. Here is a report. The participants who come from various fields, including social activists, environmentalists, general public, with the day-to-day -day knowledge of law, so that you can deal with the matters without legal assistance. This course will give you insight into the judicial system a right to information act through which you can obtain information from various instrumentalities of the government, public interest, litigation, how to draft the petitions and more particularly I am told that you will also be told as to how to argue the matters on your own without legal assistance. Citizens have to play an active and major role in tackling the problems, education and awareness must start at the school level. There should be chapters in the school, school curriculum about how, as to how to preserve nature because what is taught to the raw minds leaves imprints in their mind for long time. No program can actually succeed unless there is mass cooperation of people. When we are law students, we are never taught these things. But we begin to realize only when we get into the courts and we start practicing. And we question ourselves, what do we look at? What do we open when we want to see? And the first thing I would always suggest, please see your foundation is your constitution. Because if it's from the constitution, 
In India, we have all laws that flow. My purpose of reading the preamble of the constitution is just to show you that in the preamble, which is the guiding star for interpretation of the constitution, shows it is a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic. Now, it was originally a sovereign, democratic republic, and socialist and secular was added later on. But if you look at the fabric of the entire constitution, because it was in Kesavananda Bharati case in 1973, that secularism was considered as one of the basic structures of the constitution, despite it not being in the preamble. And it was introduced in 1977 in the constitution by amendment. So you have to know that even the laws which are made will have to withstand the test of the constitutional validity. The fundamental rights are actually amplifications of what is provided in the preamble. Truly enlightened uh, all of us on the constitution with very relevant um, examples which uh, answer some of the issues that uh, we in public interest are concerned about. <laughs> FC Goa enthralled its fans and the audience with a massive 5-0 victory over Jamshedpur. The club became the first from India to qualify for the AFC Champions League group stage on Wednesday. FC Goa sealed the top spot in the Indian Super League standings, finishing as the league's table topper with 39 points. The AFC Champions League group stage playoff are due to take place in the following year. It was always going to go down to the wire to decide the Hero ISL League winners, but the prize to finish on top from now onwards is special. A place in the Asian Champions League and tonight's visitors FC Goa need only a point against Jamshedpur. Have they failed to score in the league? One of those occasions was against Jamshedpur. That 1-0 loss was their first of the season and here they are once more. But uh, and Goa just keep going. Bumu just keeps going oh. and he keeps scoring. This is FC Goa. This is their league. And you go Bumu. The crowning glory in the shining jewel that the Hero ISL has. And the Asian Champions League. Are you ready for this? Are you waiting? Because you better do. Unbelievable. 200th goal in the Hero ISL comes from a man that has personified and defined their season. Yuga Bumu sent into the box. Falls clearance. Referee has got the whistle ready. There it is. Goa are the Hero ISL League winners. Well, surely the Super Cup and those top three finishes were significant. But proper glory is to represent India at the Asian Champions League. And last year's final may have escaped them. Despite their glorious football over the last few seasons, despite the goals, despite the flow and the beats at which the team takes Asia, here they come. The Coordination Committee of Alliance against CAA, NRC, NPR conducted a rally in Panjim last Friday. People of different religious persuasions and from all over Goa attended the rally at Azad Maidan. This was preceded by a march from Kala Academy and culminated at the Azad Maidan. Here is a report. Oh. 
And that's all we have for the moment. We shall see you again with a new episode of the Catholic Weekly News next Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Thank you for watching and have a great week ahead. Mm -hmm.